good morning it's saturday morning got the white truck out here ended up taking the fifth wheel plate off the bushings are pretty well shot inside as you see they're all egged out so found those online gonna get that replaced got one of the two wheel seals and it doesn't say on the at on the invoice which wheel seals it is so i'm gonna hold off on that uh until the other one comes in on tuesday i'd hate to take it apart and have it the wrong seal so working on the front here this grill is a little loose gotta get some jb weld and i'm gonna put that insert back in there make sure it seals up nice just to hold that down and at some point i gotta get the new pin that holds the headlight there that's wobbling around so but it's a beautiful day so pretty much this is on hold i'll get some jp weld later what i'm gonna end up doing is taking the box off the mac um so i can fix the drive shaft that blew apart on me fix the air tank that's bad re-weld the bracket for the hydraulic pump um, and then that needs a key switch and just run through and service it um, and then the manure tank is going to go back on so I'll work on switching that body off it's going to be a little more challenging since the truck can't move um, and also got to once it's aired up and everything after I fix everything um, some point later on I got to do the brakes so they're all out of adjustment so what I'll do now is get the pieces of metal these here are used to take off the truck I believe so I haven't switched the body off back to manure yet so this will be a learning experience but we'll do that so if you follow me on any of the social media accounts you know last fall I had a drive shaft failure lost the carrier bearing that came around popped everything apart bent the bracket snapped the line feed in so it dumped everything the back carrier bearing still good but this shaft came around because it all came unhooked punched a hole through this air tank and ripped the drain valve off that air tank so had to get this towed home pretty much what i got to do on this now is pull the body off it's on slide rails so i got this side unhooked um just got to go around and do the other side i got the back one that was a little bit of a challenge so i got two more brackets here to unhook and then i'll pick the front up uh, i'll disconnect the hydraulic lines which one's there and one's on the other side um i'll pick the front up with the loader pull the truck ahead uh with the tractor since i got no air i can't drive i don't have a drive shaft which that's why i'm in this situation anyways but pick it up it's gonna rest on here pull away set the front down on another block um and then i'll be able to work on this pretty easy without this in the way so it was a good time i got all the pieces got to put the drive shafts back on the driver's side pull them to get it towed um put a key switch in this as well and adjust the brakes and then we'll be good so i'll get these last two off and get the hydraulic lines off and then we'll go from there well that was an easy disconnect this spun right off this actually goes right on the tank that's how i bought it when i was set up just gonna take that end piece off i was gonna go over here disconnect that but you follow this line through that's the one that broke off on the other end so we're good to lift this up and get it out of the way gonna have to go find some help though it's a struggle doing it by yourself well got everything set here as far as the equipment just waiting on my father and our hired guy to give me a hand i need somebody to lift up the box with the skid steer and then uh somebody to steer the truck while i pull it back and get it out of the way then we're gonna set this down on one block it's sitting right there so I'll wait on them i'll get this chained up while i'm at it and then when they come over i'll we'll just pick it up and get it done
left the ratchet strap there, left the wire connected. There we go. He's got to go up some more. Well, not going to plan. Hoping that skid steer was gonna pick up the box. It's just got a teeter, that didn't work. Got the mini loader on. So, put the skid steer on the front. They wrapped it around this corner here. Finally broke that off. So I guess it's gonna get a new bumper, or new-ish bumper, or a custom bumper. So then went to get the tractor because somebody gave me an idea when I broke down to go get the tractor, hook it real tight and just pull it home. But the front bumper, the tires don't line up very well. So they are jam into some of the stuff in the rear. So we're going to get the bulldozer now and just get real close to it and pull it back and use the bulldozer blade as the point to stop it. So, yeah. So what I usually do is pick up and you can see my tank way over there. It's that blue thing sticking up. What I usually do is pick up the back, pick up the front like this, and I drive away. And then I come back and I set it down on a block. Now I can do it by myself. Problem is I can't drive and I got no brakes because I got no air because it's got a hole in it. So that's why it's making it interesting today. Plus, I didn't weld hooks up in the front to pick up from, so I was a little nervous on what it was going to do. But, yeah, we'll get it. Well, my father went to get the bulldozer. And, well, here I am, so. It says it doesn't start. It doesn't even try. They had an issue with the battery before. There ain't nothing. Oh, well, it's got no switch there. Still nothing. So, I'm going to say... The battery is disconnected again or some issue. So we'll take those bolts off and it flips up and we'll go from there. This is loose. This one's loose. Alrighty, give it a try. gets over there. I'll show you what's going on over here. This is the tank that goes on the Mac. So as you see, it sits on a front block. And I got the rear. Don't mind, I never washed it. I was expecting to run it last fall. and never did. So it just slides in. And I set it down. This took me 10 minutes last time by myself, by the time I got with taking the bolts out. So it should be a lot easier than this. So everybody was gonna watch this and say, oh, why didn't you do this? Truck doesn't move. Frickin' traffic today. It's brutal, right?
I got it out. Dozer works pretty good for it. Pretty much just holding it back. Got a chalk block in case. Turn your wheel straight. Set it right down? Got it done. A little interesting. Didn't go according to plan at all. But there's a chalk block jammed underneath that I didn't realize. That's why it wouldn't pull at the beginning. And then this slid forward and we were able to slide it right back. So sitting pretty nicely. Got these beams inside of it. That's holding it the front block sitting on this side of the lip. So that's all good. Smash that light. When I was putting blocks amateur hour over here but overall gotta do u-joints um, for everything I'll do everything as long as I'm at it um, gotta do a carry bearing this one didn't fail the one up there failed gotta fix the broken piece down there um, this is the air tank that's messed up that has a hole in it I'll show you that I'm thinking of just maybe getting rid of one air tank. I don't know. I'll see what they cost. But let me see if I can get underneath there and show you. Yep, that's where it blew through. So this came around, smashed it up. The other shaft came apart. Everything came apart here. This is the carrier bearing. The housing itself failed and snapped off here which I was laying underneath this truck I don't know 20 minutes before it happened didn't notice any of that because I had air in the wa water in the air so he'll be okay we'll get it I did rip through this electrical wire somewhere in here I don't even know so I gotta make sure I got all my lights still and then uh, adjust the brakes put the body back on move it out of the way because it's not supposed to be here drop it off put the manure tank on seems easy right well that'll do it for today I'm gonna go do chores and then uh my brother's birthday so thanks for watching like and subscribe give me some ideas if i did it all wrong which it was pretty rough today but till next time